Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. I may have been a little critical on Citizen Watch lately. Well, the two Q&Q watches that I reviewed recently fared badly. Q&Q is owned by Citizen. Looking back, I didn't really have a lot of Citizen watches. Maybe it's their oversized design or maybe it was from my less than pleasant experience with one of their watches. I did a rather controversial video on a watch I anticipated but got disappointed a few years back. Well, I'll put a link to that uh, review video if you're interested. Today, I have in front of me a quartz watch from Citizen. Some are calling this a cash grab from Citizen, which I think I cannot deny, but uh, I think I'm still okay with it. It may be the only Citizen watch that I like on this channel. This watch is inspired by the old Citizen automatic bull head, bull, bull head excuse me, watch from the 70s. Why, why is it called a bull head? Well, you can see the chronograph pushes and the crown is on the top rather than on the side of the watch. I'm not sure if a bull, bull head is right, but you know, it may seem like a triceratop to me. But yeah, I'm just gonna stick with bull head. The watch was popularized by Brad Pitt's character in a movie called Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. So why are people calling this watch a cash grab? One of the main reasons is the quartz movement. It is not even solar. The original watch from the 70s has an automatic chronograph movement. I think I can still forgive them this time around. You see, in today's world, an automatic chronograph movement costs a lot. Well, not that this watch is cheap. Hmm, thinking of it, maybe I might not forgive them because this chronograph only has a one second chronograph. All right, enough rambling. Let's get into some details of the watch here. The watch has a case diameter of 38 millimeters it has a luck-to-luck -luck distance, excluding the pushers and the crown, of 41.6 millimeters. It has a 11.9 millimeters thickness, and it comes with a standard 18 millimeters luck width. The case is made from stainless steel, and it has an all-rounded feel with no distinct edge except for the bottom and near the luck. This makes the watch feels I don't know, kind of um, lesser in overall quality because in terms of machining tolerance, a rounded edge makes it more forgiving. The watch has a black bezel surrounding the crystal. I think it's a PVD coated steel. The crystal is just a mineral crystal, but it is domed given the, giving the watch dial some distortion and some vintage feel. This watch comes with a panda dial. The main dial is white in color and all the sub dials are black. It also has a black chapter ring with five minutes marking. All the hour markers are applied. It has sword like hands for hour and minute hand and an orange hand for the big second or chronograph second hand. All the hands in the sub dials are orange in color too. There are loom applied on all the hour markers and the hour and minute hand. I couldn't find any information about the loom, but they are just okay. Alright, so this is how the loom looks like on the watch. So it's not really dark in here, but as you can see the loom, I think they are pretty okay. And I believe you should be able to read the time even though when it is really dark. Breaking the dial is a date window near the 5 o'clock marker. Oh, I wish they went with the no date dial. There are three sub dials as mentioned. The first at three is a running second hand. The sub dial at six is a chronograph hour, and the sub dial at nine is a chronograph minute. Yep, you can measure up to 12 hours using the chronograph function of this watch. Operating the chronograph is similar to operating a regular chronograph watch. 
they just rotated the case to have the pushes on the top. So if you rotate it back, it looks like any other chronograph watch or any other quartz chronograph watch for this matter. Pressing the pusher at 11 starts the chronograph function. So as you can see, it just comes with a one second chronograph. Pressing it again, it will stop the chronograph, but there is little to no tactile feedback from the second press. Pressing the pusher at one resets the chronograph second hand back to zero. There is no split second function for this um, chronograph. So even though if the chronograph second is running, when I click the pusher at one, it will just reset the chronograph second. The watch only has a snapped on case back. It is only rated for 50 meters of water resistance. Powering the watch is a caliber 0510. It has a rated accuracy of plus minus 20 seconds per month within an operating temperature of 5 to 35 degrees Celsius as stated in the manual. Well, that means that when you are wearing the watch, the variation will be a lot more as human body has a body temperature of about 37 degrees Celsius. The movement is powered by a SR927W battery that should last about two years. The watch originally comes with this bracelet that feels like those on cheap Casio watches. They are made out of folded metals and it has sort of like what I would say a hook and latch system. So same like any other Casio that you know you may have experienced before if you have. So you basically hook this and lock it to place. Well, there is an extra foldover buckle for that safety measure. Due to the small case diameter and the very short lug to lug distance, the watch actually wears quite good on my small 6 inch or 15.2 centimeters wrist. On the overall, if you go through all the specs of this watch and its retail price, the watch is kind of a joke. Well, I got some discount for this watch, but it's still pricey given all the trashy specs. However, I think I can give this watch a pass based on the looks and how it fits on my wrist alone. You see, there are not many vintage Citizen Bullhead watches out in the market. Even if there is, it may cause an arm and a leg. This is the closest I can get to the real deal bullhead chronograph watch. So I will like it for now, I guess. <laughs> well, on a more serious note, Citizen Watch Company, you know, doesn't really fare well in my book. Alright, I guess that's it for this video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps me a lot. And you can also follow me on my Instagram at gfw underscore watch for more watch pictures. Till then, I will catch you guys in the next video. Stay safe and take care. Bye.